you're a writer and you're trying to get into comics, the the number one thing that you need to try to do is to get a comic made. Yeah. You need to find collaborators. If you if yeah. you do not draw yourself, if you don't color, if you don't letter, you need to establish some working relationships with some people. And I would suggest you do creator owned. I would suggest that you not like if you're trying to break in at Marvel, I would like don't write a Hulk comic because they're not going to use that. Mm -hmm. You're basically like you're basically just like creating something that would probably never get used. So you want to do something creator owned that you can then take and you can you know you can go to another publisher uh, that that does creator owned stuff. You can also self publish in in several different ways at this point, Comicsology and otherwise uh, Kickstarter. Um, uh, but you need to prove to an editor, you need to prove to the gatekeeper. If that's, if you want to work for the big two or, or, you know, some other company, like you need to show what you can do and editors. It's just a matter of time during the day. It is easier to read a comic than it is to read a script cold. You know, it's like, I, it, it, I'm just much more likely to look at, to, to, pick up a comic and read the first five pages to see if it hooks me than I am to just start reading through a script that I don't even know what this is about. I don't, and I don't know who this is. And I don't, you know, it's like, cause I just came off, frankly, I just came off of reading 12 scripts. And so lucky number 13 here is like, I don't know. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I, I encourage everybody that does not mean that you trick your your team into doing it for free. Like everybody needs to get taken care of. It's 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 about everybody, you know. Like like I I went to SCAD Savannah College of Art and Design. Um, oh, yeah. I was it, it's a much bigger the sequential art department is much bigger than it was when I was there. But you know like you can work with a with with a, a student with a peer of yours to try to collaborate on something and both learn as you go. You can certainly go online. Like I, you know, I've, I have a pretty big platform, but like even someone with a, you know, that, that's still trying to break in can go online and try to find some samples. And then like you sell yourself to the, to your art team, they sell themselves to you and you work together to try to build something. And then you both have a calling card to show to other companies. So that's what I always encourage it. it, it the way to, the way to do it, the way to pay for it, the way to make that exist. And then the way to connect that to um to get that into people's hands like that's you know that's that's there's so much luck involved in that but the first step is just making something you got to make something